hello guys welcome back to my channel today's tutorial is on a stitch feeding ponytails i'm just showing you guys the product i'll be using for this tutorial so right now i just finished washing her hair and i'm just um blow drying it a little bit to stretch it out because um she's um natural so we're gonna um, be using the blow dryer just to stretch it out a little bit before braiding it just to make it easy um to braid and to make it neater when braiding So as I go upward, I'm just going to section her hair and just um, stretch it out until I get to the last part of it. So when you're done blow drying, you're just going to take um, your cutting comb and just part our hair into two equal parts in the middle. You want to make sure it's right in the middle of our hair. So I usually go by the line that goes right through the nose to make sure um, I'm in the center, center of the hair. So I'm going to part it um, straight down and then part it into four equal parts. That's what gives you the um, ponytail. So after parting into four equal parts, um, you're just going to part in another round section in the middle. So you're just going to cut out pieces of hair in each of the four parts that you've created and you're going to braid um, the middle of it like you can do single braid and that's what gives it um, more, it actually gives it more room uh, for the ponytail to fall in the middle so it's not um, looking too tight or it's not looking like it's not fitting into uh, each um, spot. Hopefully that makes sense but um, you get what I'm saying as we go on. So as you can see, I um, sectioned the one in the middle into four equal parts. So I'm just gonna do um, box braid, like four box braid in the middle. And that also give the hands of the hair uh, more volume, mix, uh, making it look more fuller. So um, you're just going to take your shine and jam or whatever jam or gel that you use. You're just going to apply it onto the hair and that is what gives it the slicky, uh, neat look. Um, I always try to substitute more uh, product for the eats. I try not to put in too much heat on my client's hair um, to reduce um, damages on their natural hair or anything like that. So the shine and jam um, yellow, the one in the yellow is my one of my favorite product and also all the product that I use 
in this video is linked down below in the description box so if you guys are interested you can um, check that out and I will put in the link all of where you can um, get those loaded as well so after parting the hair I'm just gonna start braiding with the client's natural hair before adding extension to you that is what gives it the natural um, um, look in the beginning so as you can see I'm braiding hat and hair I'm using my pinky finger um, to sex section the hair and that's what gives it the stitch um, braid so in order for you to stitch easily you want to make sure you're parting the hair uh, in the middle on each side that is what gives it the pre-size um, look so you want to make sure you're cutting out the same amount of hair on each side of your fingers
So um, when it comes to braiding the back, um, especially for uh, ponytail style, I will be honest with you guys. Ponytails is like the one of the most tedious um, styles to do for the braider and also uh, for the client. But it just look uh, cute. So I think it's worth all the um, sacrifice and everything. So in order for it to be easy for you to braid, you want to make sure your um, clients, they're um, putting their head down as far as they can go. And you want to make sure you are not um, stretching over or pulling their hair. So that is why it's very important for them to put their hair down as far as they can. Um, that way it's much more easier for you to braid and much more easier on your clients. But still, it's still not easy. I will be honest with you guys, like I said, but um, just try and make it easier for your clients and also um, for yourself as well. And also, um, if you guys can leave me a comment below on tips and ideas on uh, your braider, how do you um, braid a ponytail, what position do you put your clients in? Is there something you use like a pillow or something? And if you're a client, um, how does your braider braid your ponytail if you have had braid, um, ponytail before? So um, leave me a comment down below. I would love to see um, ideas and tips from you guys.
and uh, when you're done braiding you're just gonna take your um, mousse or certain lotion and um, this is the Nairobi um, brand hopefully I can link it down below for you guys I prefer this one especially on the scalp um, so you're just gonna make sure uh, it's getting on the scalp and you're just gonna take your hair wrapping um, paper and you're just gonna mold it down before dipping it into the hot water So my client has some dry um, patches on her scalp, so I'm just going to be using the um, Jamaican black castor oil to moisturize her scalp and also I recommend this if you're um, dealing with dandruffs or dry scalp or dry skin. Um, this really works really good. I got it at the beauty store and it's worked really well. So that's pretty much it for this style. I hope you guys like this video if you do please click the like button also please subscribe to my channel for more videos and my facebook and instagram account is at saw that 112 thank you so much for watching this tutorial and have a blessed and a beautiful day i will see you guys in my next video bye